Hello and welcome to another Demon Slayer video. Today we're taking a look at Yushiro, the latest free DLC added to Hinokami Chronicles. Yushiro comes packaged together with Lady Tamayo, being the first two-for-one character in this game, which immediately makes him somewhat unique. He is a demon with everything that entails, like health regeneration on boost or surge, but since he has Lady Tamayo, it does feel like he's playing with an assist. An assist that he can only call for attacks, he cannot tag out and let Tamayo do his dirty work. Using an open palm technique, Yushiro definitely reminds us all of Nezhi from Naruto and just like Neji, Yushiro is dead because he's a demon. Get it? But what else is there to the character? Is he actually unique? How fun is he to play as? Well, let's find out. First of all, Yushiro has a 1.1 times damage multiplier, which means he takes as much damage as Inosuke, and that's really good for a demon. Right now, he's the demon that takes the least amount of damage in the game. Well, excluding Nezuko, but gameplay-wise, Nezuko isn't technically a demon. She can play with assists and doesn't regenerate health, so yeah, w what I said remains true. And that's kind of a big deal, to have health regeneration and take that low damage. That's really good for Yushiro. As far as attacks go, he doesn't have a lot of reach on his attacks. They're very short range. He doesn't even have a sword, so he might have the stubbiest attacks in the game. That said, the grounded roots all do what you expect them to do. The neutral attack finishes with a big palm attack, the up combo finishes with a launcher, and the down combo finishes with a knockdown. Love that final slap, by the way. When boosted, he gains an extra attack, just like everyone else, and just like the demon slayers, he lunges forward, connecting with this animation. His strong attack is one that I'm really not a fan of. First of all, it's three hits, which in this game is usually not a good sign, especially since Yushiro is advanced while attacking. This can leave him very unsafe when whiffing, but even when he hits, if the opponent isn't right in front of him, he might connect with the first attack and miss the follow-ups. Overall, just not a great tool for Yushiro. I really like the jumping attacks though. They've got a good enough hitbox that you can even hit the opponent as soon as you leave the ground. And while I haven't found that these routes are particularly worth it, you know, kind of like Nezuko, it's cool that he can do this and maybe down the line we'll find some use for it. But good jumping attacks, very good hitbox, and the dive is also solid. Yushiro comes down at an angle that's more horizontal than vertical, so it covers a decent space. That said, both of his attacks in the air don't deal as much damage as you might be used to. Yushiro in general has Makomo damage, which is to say it's really low, but he's got some stuff to make up for it. You're gonna have to wait until later in the video to know what that is, because now we're gonna talk about the grab, and the grab is not one of those things. I mean, it's not bad, it's got average damage, but since the range isn't that big, it just feels like a regular grab. So with that, let's move on to his skills. First up, strike with a skill button. Yushiro lunges for forward with a flurry of attacks. Since this is a skill button, it works on the ground as well as in the air, but in the air it doesn't lunge forward as much. This is Yushiro's most damaging skill, one you'll see in combos very often, not only for its damage, but also if you land the skill on an airborne opponent, it will actually re-stand them, allowing Yushiro to go for a reset. Yushiro doesn't have a lot of damage in his route, so resets are definitely appreciated. Moving on to his tilt skill, spinning attack. Yushiro will first flip in the same direction you tilt your stick, and then dash forwards towards the opponent, unleashing yet another flurry of attacks. In the air, he first comes down to the ground during the flip and then dashes at the opponent like he normally does. This ability leaves the opponent in the air, but you can simply follow up with Yushiro's attack buttons. And it's mostly a good ability to dodge incoming attacks while starting your own pressure. It's also a way to dodge and mix up your opponent on your approach, especially since if this ability is blocked, not only is it plus on block, attacking after it's done is a gapless block string. It's completely true. The opponent can't mash or throw an ultimate in between the skill and your attacks. It does have a big weakness on block, which is between the dash and the attacks, there is a gap where the opponent can hit you. Now, if you space this ability correctly, the gap is completely gone. But if you're in the opponent's face and do the skill, the gap will be huge and you might get hit in the face. That said, if you want to spend an extra bar of meter, you can cancel this move into anything else, which will most likely bait those buttons from your opponent. The previous skill we talked about, for instance, Strike, is also plus on block, so Yushiro always has a way to keep his pressure going as long as he has meter. And to wrap up his normal skills, we have debilitating blow with his guard skill. Yushiro charges at his opponent for a limited range, this dash is not that big, but if it connects, Yushiro spins and leaves the opponent airborne. On hit, you can follow up with a dash completely free, going for an air combo for optimal damage. You can also charge this ability before dashing, and the reason you can do this is because if the opponent attacks you during this animation, Yushiro will dodge and counterattack. If he doesn't charge up the ability and is dashing towards you, he can actually get hit, it is not a moving parry. But if he charges it up, the whole dash is pretty much in 
invincible, Yushiro will dodge if attacked. And even if the opponent doesn't attack you and just blocks, this ability is safe. So if you just block afterwards, you'll be fine. That said, after Yushiro starts dashing, he cannot stop. So this ability can be vulnerable to parry. Now, this dodge is absolutely insane. It dodges everything. And I'm talking normal attacks, and moves unblockable abilities, ultimates, and even grabs. Yushiro really rolled up on Demon Slayer and said, try something. Now, this isn't completely safe even if you get the dodge. Sometimes you're countering a projectile or something, and the player will recover in time to block your counter, or even parry it. But in most situations, especially up close, you can safely go for this if your opponent is trying something. Moving on to his demon skills, both of them use Lady Tamayo, and she will always track the opponent's position. Unlike traditional assists, she does not show up next to Yushiro, she shows up next to the opponent, so it's almost like a projectile kind of. She slowly fades into existence and does an attack. And the first attack is the demon skill where Tamayo unleashes her blood aroma, poisoning the opponent which is gonna deal damage over time. This ability can be blocked, so it's better to put it in actual combos. The aroma poison deals 1500 damage over time, no matter the character it hits. That's right, this ability ignores damage multipliers. It deals 1500 damage on everyone and it doesn't matter where you put it in a combo. It never scales, so if you just wanna add 1500 damage to your combos, you can do so. This works just like Shinobu's Poison in which it cannot kill an opponent even if they're low health, and the opponent can deny that damage if he chooses to switch characters. With Tilt Demon skill, Lady Tamayo will spread her aroma in a small area, putting the opponent to sleep. This demon skill is completely unblockable and will crumble the opponent to the ground, giving you an easy confirm, and on top of that, it always starts a yellow combo. The only weakness this ability has is if the opponent is jumping, because they will simply fall down to the ground, making it very hard to convert into anything. This is one of the best reset tools in the game, maybe even the best demon skill overall. Yushiro was a very straightforward character up to this point, but with this demon skill, he becomes an actual threat. And finally, we have his ultimate. It's a small lunge, doesn't have a lot of range, but if it connects, it leads into this beautiful animation. <laughs> And now that we know his moves, here are some tips on how to play him. Yushido is a low damage character with the option to deal good damage with Tamayo's poison. So a lot of his game plan is gonna revolve around resets and managing those demon skills. Cause one gives you easier resets and the other gives you damage. As a rule of thumb, I tend to use the poison damage first since the poison can't kill. So I might as well get as much damage as I can out of it at the start of the match. This is especially the case when fighting against demons since they can't even swap out their character to deny that poison damage. When the opponent is at half health or lower, that's when and I start using Lady Tamayo's sleep so I can reset my opponent into a kill. As far as combos go, this is my go-to combo. It spends two bars of meter dealing 2500 damage and restands the opponent at the end of it, which is perfect if you're going for a reset. Since Lady Tamayo adds 1500 damage on top of it, this is actually a 4000 damage combo if I choose to spend a demon skill. For resets, you can go for grabs, a tilt attack, a dive kick, or Tamayo's sleep. Just don't straight up go for a normal attack because the opponent can sometimes mash out of that, so that can be dangerous. Very often, you'll also catch opponents with a counter, in which case, I go for the same route but throw a couple more attacks after I land, dealing more damage and the possibility for another reset. Yushiro is very easy to learn, that said, he will feel absolutely broken in some matches and extremely weak in others. It all depends on the character you're fighting against. Because his counter doesn't travel super far, he's gonna have some trouble against zoning, and every character that has a reversal can throw that on reaction if they see Yushiro's counter. So playing against Gyu is really, really tough. But it also feels like Yushiro has that Gyu strength, where as long as you have meter, it's always risky to punish you. The opponent never knows when you're gonna counter. He also feels a lot like Makomo, he has that low damage, so he likes to go for resets, and his pressure is just full of plus frames, which makes him very oppressive. I'd say his neutral isn't quite as good as Makomo's, but at least he's not dropping half of his combos. And the Lady Tamayo Unblockable does give him a better mix. Not to mention, he's a demon. He totally doesn't feel like a demon, I often forget to boost or surge just to heal, because it feels like I'm playing a demon slayer, so in that regard, Yushiro certainly feels unique unique and is yet another wonderful addition to Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. And that's my Yushiro review, but what do you think of the character? Have you had a chance to play him yet? Let me know what you think of him in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!